Hey, hey, welcome back, Heavenlies. Today's gym comes straight from our very own community. So Richard from my Facebook group messaged me about this Canva app and said, Lucille, this is pretty cool. You may want to check this one out. So I did. And oh, once I started fiddling around with it, I absolutely, I just had to show you guys. So thank you so much, Richard, for the inspiration for this video. You are the best. This video is also part of the Creator App Library series, which is dedicated to Canva users such as myself who, like me, try and make sense of all the growing apps that are available on Canva. So check out the link in the video description to get access to this live sheet. If turning plain text into juicy, eye-catching art is your jam, you're going to love this one. So please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's get artsy. So the name of the app that we will be exploring today, if we go to apps and you type in If you go to the search for apps, type in text art maker. Let's go text art maker, click on it. And then just before we start, I like to read and see what it's all about. Create creative text with graphic elements. Design eye-catching visuals with Canva. Effortlessly blend creative text and graphics to make standout social media posts, presentations, and more events. And elevate your content today. So basically it's saying, don't be boring, create awesome text. Here is a tool in Canva. Let's go. <laughs> so we can use it in a new design. Click on custom. And I pretty much do a lot of my stuff, 2000 by 2000 pixels. And then Okay, the system will take you to text art maker. My PC is slow today, so just excuse that. It's noticeably slower than usual. Okay, so remember I see these two tools that we'll be using. It's not actually a requirement for the second one, but if you are in the AI design space like I am, then you know you can use the second tool. But I'll show you quickly how you can use Canvas library on its own to do this so let's first go to photos here we go if you click on photos let's go to flowers and the trick here is to whatever you do end up deciding to take here make sure that it is a transparent background that's not transparent that's not transparent that is not transparent but this is transparent that's transparent there's just no solid background in the image so that's a beautiful one this is another one that you can choose so whatever the concept is that you're designing for or for whatever type of design you need the text to pop for you can basically just filter it better either say you want something red or pink and then canva will just sort of spit out whatever it is you are searching for so i'll just choose something here so like i said if you want to go with like something pink, but just make sure that it is a transparent background for the purpose of this video. So if we can go back to apps, or I think it's at the bottom of the video. Yeah, you can just because it's in my history, it's like sitting there. I can just click on text art maker again. My image with the transparent background is already on my canvas, and then over here you can then whatever the letter is that you want to. Generate for, let's go with, yeah, you can go with the whole word, but let's say you want to focus on letters, let's go with L, have your letter there. The density is really just how heavy do you need the output of this letter to be. So all the way to the right, one density is maximum, and then if you slide to the left, then obviously it becomes less dense, and there's a lot of white space um, at the back of the alphabetic letter, right? So I'll just take it back to max density, which is one. Here you can play with the particle size. So you'll see now if I slide the left, it changes in terms of the size of the particles, right? You can see they're a lot smaller. It looks like small sticky notes, right? And then if you slide it to the right, 
the opposite happens and it becomes a lot more heavier. So it just it just depends on what it is. What are you trying to, what is your objective here, right? And then also on the minimum side, same, same sort of story. So you need to slide and fiddle and tweak here according to what it is you want to achieve. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, I don't know, it's so dense, I'll just leave it here. And then you can, once you're happy, you want to use this as your input file for the text, you can then click on use selected image. Okay, so you just click this button and your letter is then basically filled with whatever is on the canvas. And I think that's amazing, right? So once you're happy with it, Al, okay, you can add to design. And we'll just create another one here. Okay, it's doing, it, doing its thing. There we go. There's the L. I want to shift this. I've created another one here. So I'm going to shift this down. Let's do this. And then we'll go U, same story, happiness. Then I'll just add to design. And you can do whatever it is you want to achieve here. Okay, let's go C. Add to design. And I think it's a pretty awesome way to create non-boring font. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Okay, add to design. Okay, we'll just grab all of them. Just make them smaller. I wonder, let's do this. Let's do that. There we go. <laughs> and then double L. We just duplicate. So this is the way if you want to just use face, if you just want to use canvas elements, you can do that. But if you want to be a little bit more unique or, you know, come up with something. So maybe this E is a little bit, maybe I need to just change the density or let's see. Because the E is, there, there I think this one looks better. Add to design, that's the last letter. Okay, you see, do you see the difference? So you will have to, you'll have to play around depending on what it is that you are doing. What is the font? What is the word that you're trying to spell? I don't, this E looks like, almost like a ring donut. There's two holes instead of one. So I'll take that one out. I'll leave that. I'll just make it smaller so that it fits in. And there you've got my name beautifully adorned with is it a rose yes with a pink rose and instead of having boring font you now have something a little bit more exciting unique and i think it looks a lot better so let me know what you would use this case study for and if you would actually it doesn't take long it's quite an easy process and i think it came out well so if you want to spice it up a little bit, I would then use tool number two, which is in this video, we'll be using um, Studio Flow. And you can basically at this point prompt anything that you want. So let's say you want to prompt, um, what is the image that I want? Let's say, okay, let's say a, a realistic image of orange um, slices of orange with honey glaze over it um, and then what you can do here remember i said it needs to be transparent so you need to over here select not full render because full render will give you a background you need to click on transparent and then you need to choose your style um, i'm going to stick with magic style 
and then I will just generate. And because I've selected transparent, I don't still have to now take it to another system to do the transparency for me. So let's go with, maybe let's go with this one. And while we download that, let's just say a Valentine's, Valentine's Day inspired design with hearts and with colors pink red and white okay so i'm not going to transparent this time but i am going to select patterns so once i select patterns i just want to see what this effect will be and then let's go back to canva let's open another canvas and then let's choose a file which we've just downloaded now Okay, we're going to go with this one. Let's say your theme is citrus <laughs> citrusy or um, here we go. Let's say it's something citrusy or something fruit based, then you can use the orange as like maybe a citrus type of theme maybe add some limes to it i don't know it depends on what the project is right simply add to design I'll just make it a little bit bigger so that you can see what it looks like so it basically takes the one image and it sort of scatters it within the font okay so let's do that see what studio okay this is beautiful so let's go I don't know what the pattern really is going to look like, but let's try. Let's go B and choose a file and I'll go to my local drive, select the file and voila, B. <laughs> okay, add to design. So honestly, it really depends. The video is just to give you, to show you how you can go about creating font that's not boring, right? Creating font that's not boring, very important. Uh, so let's go 4th of July inspired. Uh, okay, red, blue, blue and white. Okay, and let's Let's see if this, maybe let's try the cyberpunk. Let's just try something different. But the idea here is to not be boring. And um, this should inspire you. So if there's something, if it's something related to, it needs to correlate with whatever you are doing. So I would say if it's an invitation card, then once you know what your invitation color themes are, you can then generate a set of text, which is invitation based like, invite and and just have them all generated based on the color scheme of your invitation the sky's the limit i can see a lot of case studies with it i hope this has helped you fourth of july fight with hearts no i don't want hearts sorry okay um, and then you can also see the suggested keywords that they give you here if you want to but i'm just going to leave it as is weird like cyberpunk weird like Weird looking design, not something I would use. Let's do magic style again. Uh, I don't like that. Let's go photo real. And I wonder if, I don't think these patterns, let's do them. Because I set it on patterns, let's do a pattern check. Um, I haven't done this before. I did do a video on this last week, like as part of my discovery years and you tool. Check it out if you're interested. Um, but I didn't actually check the pattern pattern output output. We had a conversation in our group not so long ago about patterns and um, different systems, and it would be interesting to know because a lot of systems say that they do seamless patterns, but they're actually not seamless. You get the pattern effect, but you don't get the seamless, um, you know, the flowing effect, which is necessary for a seamless pattern. And I haven't done this check. I'm actually doing it now live. 
with you, so I'll just drop it here. Wow. We've had such a challenge with patterns, with systems like Artistly. It's all on the video. Like, there is a video. Just check it out. How to create seamless patterns. And, like, and we went through, like, I think four or five different systems. And I didn't do this with Creator Flow. And it seems to me like it is. I'm just going to choose another one. really is outputting patterns seamless i don't see harsh lines to you i do not see harsh lines let's just get the prompt right let's go to that's amazing yeah if you are into patterns check out the video i've gone through some challenges i've gone through some systems i've showed you which ones i am fairly confident that i will get seamless patterns um, from and which ones say it's seamless patterns and then it's not so I'll have to work on the prompts, but I'm, what I'm seeing is that they are seamless. Seems like they are seamless. That's a seamless pattern. I don't see harsh lines to the left, to the right, and up and down. There's smudges, but that's something else. So I will definitely be checking out this tool and try and see if I can come up with better prompts for seamless patterns. But this was just like a bonus, <laughs> like a bonus point in the video. Um, let's go back and just do the C. Let's go. Uh, let's do C. And let's choose a file. And I I even, I can tell you, I see a potential for selling these fonts, perhaps on Etsy. Maybe, let's see. Maybe if someone wants a Halloween inspired type of, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is it. Um, I love this. It's beautiful. You can change colors. You can go where, you know, wherever you want in terms of theme. And uh, if there are any questions or if you have a particular video you'd like me to spend time on, let me know. Thank you so much for being part of this video and I'll see you in the next one.